Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Today we continue our flea study for 2023. Uh, this week we're going to be doing Manx Lotan, L O A G H T A N. Uh, here's what it looks like. Uh, probably pronouncing it all wrong, but Manx Lotan top. Um, it looks like it says here the breed is from the Isle of Man. It's 29 to 31 microns. Staple length is 75 to 80 millimeters, about three inches. So let's uh, take a look at the field guide to fleece and take a look at our lovely sheep here. All right, this is our guy here. I'm going to show you the picture of him right there. And then we will read a little bit about him. Uh, let's see. Uh, origins, Isle of Man. Fleece weights three, and a half, three to five and a half pounds, or 1.25 to 2.5 kilograms. Uh, staple length is two and a half to five inches, which is six to 13 centimeters. Diameter, uh, five. Fiber diameter is 27 to 33 microns. Natural colors are brown. The Manx Lotan, the Isle of Man's own distinctive breed, was brought back from near extinction in the 1970s. Prides for its lean, flavorful meat, the Manx is also appreciated for its grazing habits, which help create a favorable environment for the endangered red-billed chow, C-H-O-U-G-H. Some kind of bird, I imagine. Uh, so it's a conservation breed. Uh, the peeling fleece of this rare northern European short tailed breed is an unusual warm brown color. Although individual fleeces can vary significantly, some are hairy and others woolly. The wool overall tends to be soft with enough grease to protect it. Locks are close textured. The crimp is bold, uniform, and consistent quality throughout. You can pick and card, or if the fibers are long enough, comb. Wool and sow preparation will maximize the fiber's natural balance. Worse is how preparation yields a, yields a very durable yarn. Effects of dyes, the natural brown can be over dyed to produce a subtle range of colors. And best uses, traditionally Manx Lotan is woven into tartans and fabrics for tailored suits and vests. It's a great wool for making knitted or crocheted sweaters and socks or relatively lightweight fabrics. Create a test watch before making garments that will rub against the bare skin. Okay, sounds interesting. It is a beautiful reddish brown color in here. So I'm excited to um, try this and see what we got here. So let's open up our package and pull this out. This is really soft. Yeah, I would say this is incredibly soft. So let's find the end of it here. There we go. Let's pull off a staple length of this. I always pull more than one, just to, so not at the very end. So there we go. Decent staple lengths here. Um, so this, if we go with the, that. About four inches, roughly. So that's actually a, a decent uh, staple length to work with. Four inches. I wouldn't complain too much about that. So, uh, again, I'm going to be... Um, doing my normal spin, which is a short back draw. Um, and then I'll be uh, chain plying it just for ease. Since I'll just do it all in one bobbin. It's easier than trying to do some, something fancy to, to get a two ply. So it'll be a three ply when we're finished. So let me get my wheel set up and we'll get started.
All right, it's the next day. The yarn has been wet finished and hung up to dry. And here we go. This is our results here. We got about 40 yards. Not bad. It's chain plied. Uh, Aaron weighed about eight wraps per inch. So you can see it's um, got a bit of drape to it. Quite a bit of stretch. Very squishy. Um, and it's fairly soft. Um, as far as my spin, this just loved being spun. Uh, it drafted so easily. Um, and it was begging me, spin me thinner, spin me thinner, spin me thinner. But I'm not that, I'm not that skilled. So you could probably do a very fine, uh, single spinning this, this fiber, if it was prepped correctly. Um, I absolutely loved working with this. I would go out of my way and purchase it if, um, if I saw an entire fleece of it and it was within my budget, I would be out there buying it. Um, I love the coloration of it. It's this beautiful, natural reddish brown. Um, the wool was a pleasure to work with. I think it would be a, a good wool for even a beginning spinner. Um, and and I, I don't think you could go wrong there. So, have you tried spinning this Manx Lowton before yourself? If so, please let me know um, what you thought of it, how it worked out for you. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing Norwegian. So we got this lovely gray Norwegian top. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, 30 to 36 microns. So it might be a little coarse, but we'll see. Um, so until then, happy crafting.